Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Just coming in from my early run. Wash the hands, didn't touch this. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter, happy Easter. It's funny to say that I've never, ever been home on Easter, ever, ever, ever. I've always worked. So thank you again for, thank you, God and the universe, for allowing me to be home on Easter. Because I've never, ever had an Easter at home, ever, always work. And I also want to say that don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also, something's going on with my um, phone that I cannot leave. Go under your comments and answer you. So I got to wait and see if sometime this morning I can call... Um, Apple so that they can um, give me, you know, remove some of my photos and move them to my Google so I can have space here. But I guess I don't have enough space. I don't know. But it's really messing up with the comments. I cannot answer you. It's driving me insane. So I'm going to try to see if I can answer you on my, my computer and not my phone. I don't know. We'll see, right? But know that um, I will get this problem fixed. Yes, I will because I cannot stop talking to you. And I need to talk to you, okay? This was all in my head. And I'm not going to let that take over space in my head because something is not working, which is not, it's not really big, but it's very important to me, okay? So that's why you need to know what is going on. If you don't see me answer your comment, it's because right now I can't. But I'm going to see if I can do it on the computer, okay? Because that's two different things. I don't know. We'll see. Um, that was the most important thing I needed to say to you this morning. And next it adds that I love you. And um, I want you to have a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. Okay? So let's move on to this reading, okay? Because you know what else? I didn't even cook anything for Easter, nothing. So what I'm having is... Um, Buffalo chicken wings, um, shrimps, shrimp, some type of probably buffalo wing style shrimps and buffalo wings. And I'm going to make um, these um, folded up tacos, little ones. Like I'm doing a lot of finger things. Ain't nobody here but me. And then I'm opening a bottle of champagne. And that's what I'm going to do. And then around 3 o'clock, I will do your reading. And then that's my whole day. It's only me. I don't have anything to worry about because it's only me. And um, Pisces, how about this? I got a phone call from Mr. Mr. The Mr. here. And it wasn't no big deal. No big deal. When I mean no big deal, no. How about we'll call that the past? I got a phone call from the past. It was no big deal. I said, Happy Easter. Next thing I do, I get a, a FaceTime call. I was like, what? And then um, I didn't answer. Mm -mm. Because it's not that type of party anymore. Nope. I'm not going there anymore with nobody. Nope. I'm looking to the... Over here. Okay, not to the talk to the hand, but to plan B. So... I know that they came up in the reading yesterday, yesterday noon, not yesterday morning. Yesterday morning was all about your money, honey, and I, I love it. And um, anyway, you know me. When I do my readings, I don't speak to the devil. I speak to the spirits. So I'm going to say thank you, Lord, this morning for waking us up, giving us a new start. Okay. And this virus thing is just becoming an everyday thing for everybody now. They not they just walking around and accepting it and moving on. It, I feel like everybody now um is um geared up and it's weird how at one point we look at like you know these people from different countries that are geared up, all you see is their eyes like whoa. But now everybody's doing it. So that's telling you something to accept people. For who they are. And don't label people. 
okay? Because you know what? I kind of like this little thing with just my eyes showing. Because um, they don't even know who I am, and they ain't got to And I love the, the fact that I've always been, you understand, in my little cubby hole. And now I'm like this in the world. And they accepting it. Everybody's accepting being covered up. And guess what? I, I feel great because that's always been me. So I, I decided I think I'm going to get one of them little things they wrap up. And they, you know, the Muslim um, people just wrap their whole heads up. And I think I'm going to get me one of those. I'm not lying. I watch. I'm going to get me one, wrap my whole head up. I like that because ain't nobody got to look at me. And then when I take that reveal thing off, watch out, baby, because here she comes. I took six minutes to tell you all that. I'm sorry. I'm moving on. That, that was not my plan. But you know me, baby. You at home, right? We at Paisley Studio. We at home, right? You're my family, so I could do this and act like this. This is not unnormal for me to act crazy, right? Because I, I, y'all accept me because y'all accept yourself. So I know if y'all accept me, it ain't nothing in this world that I can do that would shock y'all because y'all just like me. So let's go. Here we go. I love y'all. Okay, so you got the three of wands, means all of spiritual, in the spirit, okay, in the spirit, wands, the three of wands, all up in the spirit, baby. So, <clears throat> let me get my pen, and let's start talking to the spirits here. I take notes of everything I say to you, I got to, I guess I remember a lot of things when it comes to Pisces, I'm really into my Pisces. So, here you got the three of wands. You feel like everything is coming your way. You got new doors opening up. And it's like, I know this whole thing is not over. But I know that you're starting to feel it, right? You're starting to feel the energy manifesting, the waiting for the results of your efforts. You arrive to opportunity, finally understanding your abundance. Continue improving and moving into the right <clears throat> direction, progressing. Progressing is a lot because progressing is in every stage, is the stage of your how you feel, how you think, how you see things now. It's not only in you being successful, but within yourself. How you feel. You know, how far you come. How now people can't play these games that they used to play. Because this <clears throat> time excuse me, time period that we got now, it's going within. It's called going within. Okay? This coronavirus is called going within, checking yourself, acknowledge who you are, <clears throat> loving yourself, respecting yourself. You understand? It's like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. <clears throat> It's like you planning and you seeing, you learning. And it's almost like you directing everything the way you want it to be. Watching these signs that your dreams is coming on their way. You're just sitting there, like literally waiting on all of this to happen. Which me is, I'm not literally waiting on anything to happen because... I know each and every day I'm improving. And waiting for it to happen, I just know it will when it's time. And I have accepted that. I learned that there is no time on what God has for you. But that also means that God says, I give you when you give yourself. Nothing falls from the sky into your hand. It's called, if you work and you reach out to me, I'll reach out to you. So know that. 
that every day I tell y'all things is coming to you and all, and all open doors are wide open for you, remember that it is also work to be done. And if you don't do the work, you're not going to see what you need to see. All right? So, because nothing's going to happen out of nowhere. Nothing. When you start making change and seeing who you are and accepting who you are and respecting yourself, then you see new people coming into your life. The same way as opportunity success. When you work towards your success, then the door is open. Right? You don't bump into something and say, whoa, it happened. No. Because God knows that if you work for it, I give you the rest. If you seek, you shall find. But when you seek, it's because you're doing the work of seeking. Okay? Remember that. Everything is not just coming to you. It's let me see how far you come. And that's the important things for me to tell you. All right? You do the work and God do the rest. You respect yourself. You love yourself. God will open up the doors for new people and new relationships. But if you stuck in the past, God will say you need more to learn from. And I'll leave you right where you're at. If you want to be stuck in your career and you feel like that's not for me, but that's my everyday way out, then that's where you're going to be. It's choices to be made. Okay, and it's a path that you need to take. But how bad you want all of this is up to you. Okay? You're taking pride in your progress and what you made and where you come from. Your past. Your creations. Today you're moving towards a bigger you. And I hope you are. Because that's what I see in this. But some of us don't believe in that move. Some of us believe in being just stuck. Okay? And it's all up to you on what you want to do. The three of wands. <clears throat> I'm sorry, the three of wands. Aries, Scorpio, or Leo. And also, remember that the wands represent a lot of sexual, sexual. If nobody ever told you that, the wands represent a lot of sexual things, all right? It's like, yeah, that's why fire and, 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 and water, oh, they can, they can do some really serious things. Cause, see, Pisces are very sexual people. Look at this. Hands, people are clapping for you. People are just giving you standing ovations. And again, what do you got? The wands. Boy, how you are shining like the star that you are on stage. With your hands up, I made it. I made it. I, Lisa, Mama, TT, made it. You made it. I really am telling you, I made it. <laughs> I've, boy, have I been awake and I made it. So I'm telling you, you made it. You awaken. How bad you want all of this? It's up to you. It's up to you, Pisces. And I'm getting on a whole nother level with you when it's up to you. <clears throat> it's coming to the point that I need to get a little bit more indignant with these cars and show you there is so much more than you made it. There is, that is why I was born like this, very spiritual. Very, very spiritual. Because I want you to know be, beyond what these cars are telling you, what it really is to make it, to believe and to love and respect yourself. What? I am worthy of the success. I am grateful that I can, that I am seen. Peace.
people are in their house. I ain't stuck in my eyes because this is what I do. I just, this is what we do. But those who are not used to being the way you are, even though they're stuck in their house, they still seeing you. And they're waiting for them doors to open up for them to run over there and run back into your life and give you applause. Because they see you as a different you. Because the way you are with yourself is the way people see you. Do you understand? And you see them hands? I'm one of those hands. Giving you that standing ovation. I'm one of those many hands there. One of those is me. I'm proud of you. I love you. I want the best for you. Badass success you are. You's a badass success, honey. You hear me? You a badass, right? You earn it. The hard way. Nothing was given to you easy. Nothing. Leadership. Accomplishment. Being seen. Because becoming a big influence. Victory. Optimistic inspiration to others. Okay. Something that you've been working for towards is finishing, finally coming to a success. Fruitness, and it's a time to celebrate your wins, your beauty. Give yourself permission to. To be this glow in your life. To be the light that shines within you. Because you have earned this accomplishment. You got a supportive. You got people that supporting you. Just like us. And you too. Everybody you meet and they're supporting you. Because they want you to come out of whatever it is it is. But boy have you come far and even if you stuck a little bit in that head still I swear you come far yes you have far far so everything we've been through there's a reason why we sit still in every home there is okay Others are going to turn to you just for wisdom. They want to know what it is about you. They want some of whatever it is that you got, that, you, that you're very different. They want to know. They want to talk to you. They want some of you. They want your knowledge. They want that beauty. They want to know you. It's like you can comfort people. Give them the light that they don't see, the eyes to see, your story to tell. You are being very acknowledged and very seen. I feel like you're stepping up to this person that not only... <clears throat> Are you beautiful? You're beautiful in and out. Not only are you gifted, you're gifted in and out. Your abundance is coming in abundance. But again, I want to tell you, like I've been telling you, give it all you got and get all you got. Okay? Give it all you got within you so you can get all out of it that you got. I'm one of those hands clapping for you. Because do I love you? Yes, I do. Because you got the whole world in your hands. The whole world. Don't forget to put me into your world. If it's a little space in that world. I want to be a part of it. 
don't forget me. <clears throat> I'm here for whatever you need. Whatever you need. Look at this. Check this out. Oh my God. This is crazy, but wow. This ain't even a car that was flying out, but this car said, hello, I'm here. You need to acknowledge me. Wow. That ain't the car that was supposed to come out. I'm not lying. It's right here. Right here. This thing just came right out of nowhere. It's a death and a rebirth. The death is the old you and the rebirth is the new you. And right over that car was this car. That's crazy. It just, this car just came out of nowhere and said, like my spirits. And like people will tell you, I read tarot cards. And boy, before I start your reading, I can tell you the whole reading before I even get to your cards. Because the spirits are just going crazy and they want to talk to you. I said, damn. This is crazy. You mean to tell me that I went to a car supposed that flew out before that car, but that car came right at me and it said, I'm coming out before this because I want to let you know what I want to say before this Empress. Hello. Thank you, spirits. Look at this car. Remember I told you I'm going to put that around my face and my head? Look at this. Look at the way this car looks. Am I not lying to you? Then I said I was going to wrap my whole, all you was going to see is this. Like I was going to be like the Muslim. Look at this. Look at this. When this thing is over and you reveal yourself, honey, it's a brand new you. Because you have really done let the old behind. And like I keep telling y'all, when this thing is over, it's going to be a whole new world. That's all. When I mean a whole new world, I can't stop singing that. It's a whole new world for the people that are strong to come out of it and come big. Not just come out of it and go back to work. I'm talking about come out of it, be a whole new you with a whole new start and a whole new success. How many people can say I'm not going back to work because I opened up my own business? Because guess what? It's some real stuff going on. It's a new career for y'all. A whole new career. The one that you've been blocking and saying, no, I'm not going to do the teaching, the being teachers, the being nurses, the all of that, you better jump into your real career and stop putting things that you know you have done and worked hard for. Crap, anything. I keep telling y'all this because I'm telling you, I, I'm i literally reborn. I allow myself to let go of the past in order to add energy for the new beginning. And God knows there's a new beginning. God, when I go to bed at night, I have no worries like I used to. It's, it's incredible to me. I feel I've never in all my given life have I ever had a peace of mind. Because I've always let people take that from me. But I tell you no lie, I got that peace of mind now. And I feel incredible, incredible grateful to the universe and to God and to my spirits and to my ancestors and to my guiding angels. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, you two, for all of those who have pulled me out of the dark. Thank you. Thank you so much. <coughs> you has, <clears throat> I don't know if I'm getting hoarse, I was yesterday. You have made a transformation, a rebirth, a change, 
a new belief, a newfound awareness, an ending of cycles in death. Your intuition is pushing you forward. It's just telling you everything I said. Pisces, I don't beat you down for no reason. And I don't break these cards down like I'm talking. I'm literally talking to people I love. I don't read my tarot cards like any normal tarot card reader, and y'all know that. I talk to you like you're right here in my home. Each and every day I do it. So how can I not be close to you? It's crazy. You on a mission, and this mission is transforming you. And it's time for this letting go of this morning that's been taken over you for so many years. It's time to celebrate this new birth, this new you. And I'm here to celebrate with you. I'm here to give you them hands that you see. That's me. That's me celebrating all that you are. I'm there clapping for you. I'm your biggest fan. Yes, I am. What? I'm your biggest fan. If you ain't got nobody, you better know you got me. And it's killing me not to be able to answer your comment if I can on this phone. I will try on this computer because I will not let any the devil close this phone and act like that's all I got. I will try this computer if that devil won't block me because I got it right under my feet stomping the hell out of it. It won't never take control of me again, ever. I won't be tied down to no devilish nonsense ever again. I control my spirit. And when I die, I die with that spirit holding me, taking me there. Because I have cleaned up all the mess that I had. And I admire my spirits for allowing me to be so disrespectful to it. And I would not do that again, ever. It's a whole new me, a whole new world. Okay? Here you go. Here it is. She's giving birth. This is Pisces. Look how beautiful she looks. Gorgeous. She's giving birth to a whole new you. Um, also, Pisces, if you are pregnant, and I'm not talking about somebody else getting somebody pregnant, I'm talking about you. I wish you the best. Because this is you coming into a whole new birth. Do you understand? Listen to me, baby. This car jumped out in front of this car. That's why I know it's you. Listen, it says death, rebirth, right? And it says here, Pisces, you are giving birth to a whole new you in a whole new world. How can you not? How can you not? God is good. He says, I know you've been through hell. And that part of you, I'm going to get you out of because I'm giving you this. And along with this, come happiness. And it's saying, just think about it, Pisces. Think about it. If you are Pisces and you have kids, right? You got kids. You got kids, right? And you are in a relationship that is destroying you, right? You got kids. Your kids are watching all of this. They know. So how do you expect for your kids to grow up 
and be in a happy relationship when all they're known was fight and people coming in and out their lives fathers coming in and out you allowing these men to torture you abuse you that's what your kids see that's what you're teaching them so will you break the cycle no because you are embedded the cycle in your kids so you remember one thing if you don't do it for nobody do it for your kids leave the devil behind start a new you and even if you ain't got nobody else coming at that time in your life you have gained your self-respect you have gained your love and not only that you broke the change because you say i'm not gonna have my kids go through this in their life and from that point on you gonna teach your kids that that is not allowed why your father's not here because i will not allow him to disrespect me and you not no more and i got to invent this in your head i will the way you treat yourself around your kids is what your kids will gain and learn and learn to live battle after battle abuse after abuse people coming in and out of their lives because that's what you're teaching them. All right? So this here, a new birth, a new you. A new birth, a new you. If you don't do it for nobody, have respect for your kids. Break the cycle. You say you love your kids. You would do anything for them. Then leave what's not good for you behind. Show your kids that they're worth more. More. It hurts you to leave the past behind. Imagine how much hurt you will bring in these kids' life when they start being an age where they have girlfriends, boyfriends. And people that are supposed to love them. Imagine them being abused, mistreated, not loved, because that's all they know in their life. Watching mom and dad let people abuse them and misuse them. Love yourself. Respect yourself so that you can break the cycle that you've been through all your life for your kids. Love them. You say you love them. Show them you love them. Show them you got respect for them. There's no need for you to hide. Your kids don't have nothing to do with this. Don't let this come to them too. Break that cycle. Please, if you don't do it for nobody. Do it for your spirit and your kids. I apologize. Again. But I'm a mother, a grandmother, and I know what I know. Pisces, you're so well deserved. So much. Give yourself the opportunity to be loved the right way. Respect your family. Respect your kids. You will always have somebody there 
But if you give yourself the opportunity to love yourself, no one will ever disrespect you or your kids again. You will open up doors to your kids' life to be nurtured and respect and love the right way. Okay? So, I'm sorry. I, I know where you come from and I know where you've been at. And I'm only trying to shine a light on what I see. Continue this reading. Sorry, spirit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm human. I'm human. I'm human. You got the six of pentacles from a different deck. This lady is looking at this little girl, and this man is on his knees. And she got a coin in her hand and a wand on the other. She looks very sophisticated sitting on top of this desk. She ain't in the chair. She's sitting on top of the desk. Okay, on top of the desk. Excuse me, madam. Look at her on top of the desk. Look at her. Look at the little girl. And look at this man. I, I don't know what my dog did, but he better not have done anything in my room. Because I'm telling you, he's done something and I feel it. I'm just keep looking back to see what did he do. Okay. Show grat grat gratitude for life through generous and compassion. It's a two-way abundance, giving and receiving, being grateful in a positive and generous way. Mindset, advancement, awaken in flow, in a flow to help coming from others. So it's like a give and take. It's like now you're not going to settle for no one just taking from you. It's like you're balancing yourself in both ways. I feel like. You're coming into this power that is so amazing to me. So amazing. It's like um, being open to giving to others what you always have and receiving from others. It's like something that the world needs to do a little bit more. It's like the universe is telling you to open up your conscious that you always stuck in. Open it up to a whole nother level. You know? It's like Where you are and who you are is so spiritual that the world needs people like us. The world really needs us. You know? It feels good, right? To be with this abundance, the heart is centered, this gift, it's your time, money, um, energy, someone else will open up the flood of gates a new resorts coming your way it's like it's like you have everything coming everything's coming like people are just coming to you i feel like in every age it's like 
Pisces, you come in all sorts of age. You come from little to from seven, from five, from three, all the way up to adults. And a child, Pisces, can hold a conversation with somebody and know a lot of people that their parents don't even know. But somehow, some way, Pisces is Pisces, and you cannot take that from Pisces. You understand? Let me see what my dog is doing back here. What are you doing? Because I'm going to tear you up if you did anything you ain't got no business doing. Um, hold, hold on. Wima, deja a, a, a Peola entrarle en la casa. Dile que venga aquí. Tráemela pa' acá. I'm sorry, my, my girlfriend just arrived, so, and I don't want to stop this reading, so, that's why I got to do this this way right now. So, she's going to sit right here and watch me do the readings for y'all, because that's what it's all about. So that's the Six of Pentacles. So you already know that um, that is um, uh, Earth sign, Cancer, uh, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. You also got um, the Justice, Libra. Okay. Um, You got the Empress Venus, which is us. So let's go on to justice right next to that. I feel like justice in all level is being served for what you done and what they done to you. I feel like it's a balance. I feel like you coming into a sore and a wands where you are so connected to yourself. But I also feel like you finally said, you know, I'm, I'm accounting for what I did. And it's not like finger pointing, like they did this, you did that, and all this. I just feel like, um, like now, like you know that you played a part in whatever it was in your life, and you finally, and I don't care what nobody say, it's two sides to every story. And you can't never keep saying, you did this, they did that, or you didn't play a part in it, right? We might tell him to get that dog out of here. I'm sorry. My girlfriend has arrived, but she can you shut him out, please? Oh God. I'm sorry, honey. Get him out. Get get him. I'm sorry, y'all. This is so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. But my girlfriend has got, got get get the dog out of here. Get him. Well, oh my God, I'm doing a lot of Oh my God, this is so bad. I gotta stop this reading and do this over. I'm beating the dog with, oh my God, I'm beating the dog. Get woman to get the dog out of here. Oh my God, this reading. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. I gotta start, I gotta start this, wait a minute. I gotta, I'm gonna do this reading over. This is so embarrassing. Oh my God, but I, wait a minute, I can't. Okay, moving on, justice. Get him out. Get just get him to get him out. Just shut him. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Oh my god, this is turning chaos in this house. Get woman to get him out the house, please. I'm out the room. Please, I'm trying to do this for you. <laughs> tell him I said, come here, please. Just tell him I said, come here. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, y'all. This is so embarrassing. But moving on. Okay, good karma is get. Get Wilma, please. This is this is good karma. It is delightful, loving, and it comes to you in many motive and in teaching. God, this is so embarrassing. This is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Thank God I'm working with only Pisces and y'all dealing with me. Oh my Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. But this reading was so intense, I cannot start it over, okay? So I'm moving on, okay? Giving and take, okay? Let me just uh, do this and moving on from this, okay? And then, um, girlfriend is here. 
Oh, yes, she is. She's beautiful, too. Oh, my God. Y'all, cars is flipping every which way. But I cannot stop this reading because I cannot. It was, it's, the reading is beautiful, and I refuse to, oh, my God, y'all. Pisces, look at this. If y'all ain't got this going on, I don't know what to say. Look at this. Do you know what this is, right? This shaka, shaka, shaka from head to toe. You are enlightened. You are opening all your shakas. And it's saying that you are coming all in one. You cannot be that Pisces. Pisces, are you for real? Stop playing. You got the will of fortune. Pisces, don't make me crawl up in here and start kissing your faces off. Because I will. Right off. On top of all this nonsense that's going on in my house. It's just turning to chaos up in here. Okay. Because, Pisces, you know, on top of all this, having the world go around you and fortune and all of that, you know, Pisces, you always come into your thoughts where, am I doing the right thing? Because something always come in your head where you try to, you know, um, put yourself again into this little coming and going. You know that. You are good for that. When things is good in your life, you still try to make it chaos because you still go into your head and create chaos because you... um. Start telling yourself, is this, uh, is it really happening for me? Or is this all, you know, you know, you will go through it, Pisces, because you're good for that. You're good for not believing and trusting in yourself. You're good for, you know, um, wanting to feel like it, it, it's not happening for you. You don't deserve it. Yes, you do deserve this. And the wheels are spinning right before your face, honey. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is spinning in front of you. So what you're going to do with this Wheel of Fortune is up on you. All right? You sit on top of the world. I'm literally telling you about this car. Now, usually she be sitting on her tippy toes. You got it going on. This wheel is spinning, and it's your time to shine. Don't let nobody ever, ever tell you that you ain't got it going on because you do. Do you understand? On top of that... Don't sit up here with this moon because this is you, Pisces, sitting up there coming in and out, watching this little thing coming at you, trying to come at you, but you are bigger than that. You bigger than that, Pisces. You know, I'm not getting into this car because if I get into this car, I will blow your mind by telling you, are you stuck on stupid or what? You better not be stuck on stupid because you need to do this for yourself, for your kids, and turn things around. What you do in your life reflects on your kids. If you allow things to go wrong in your life, then you allow it to go wrong in your kids. That means you teaching your kids that you can be stuck in relationships that don't want the best for you, don't love you, and don't want you. And if you keep allowing it, I don't give a fuck who it is, your baby father, whoever it is, move on from it. It's not worth it. Okay? I'm telling you, I've been there, done it. I'm not telling you no lie. Move on from it. You deserve better. Do you understand that? Because this person will always come in and out of your life. And it's your kid's father. They're watching this bullshit. They don't deserve it. You need to move on. I don't care who it is in your life. Move on. You're better than that. You deserve better. You shining, baby. You shining. Like me. You know that. Okay? So now, moving on. Love y'all. Yes, I do. I love y'all so much. I don't know what to do with y'all. Even though y'all piss me off with y'all crazy ass comments. Y'all don't understand where I'm coming from. Y'all want to drive me nuts and all this. But Pisces, um, your reading here is all about you once again. Okay, but here at the end, it's showing this little thing coming up, which I'm I'm gonna keep telling you. What you show yourself is what you show your kids. And if you want your kids to be into this drama scene that you got going on in your life, then you go right on here because some kids don't ask for that dumb shit, okay? They sitting there watching this stupid stuff going on. That's ridiculous. So you need to break through from that. And I only see this one card, but I know how y'all are. So I'm only telling you about yesterday's reading last night, not morning, yesterday night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So let's move on with this reading. And I'm sorry, my house got chaos real, real quick in a hurry. Ooh-wee, that was crazy. <laughs> oh, man, too much. Okay, let's go. Now, 
Occupation. You know what that means? Get on the ball because God says, I'm only going to give it to you if you're pushing on for it. So what is it? Is it something new that you're coming to? Because after all this is over with, I ain't think about going back to that job. What are you doing? I see teachers, nurses, and all of that. Diploma sitting, went to college and sitting what? Waiting on what to as hell. Take the damn test and move on. Why are you sitting there still waiting on what? The test ain't going to come to you. Ain't going to pass you unless you do it. You need help? Reach out to get it. What the hell? The test, you put all the money into paying the government and ain't moving, making, doing what you want to do. You need to do it. What are you scared of? Come on now. If you fell one time, take it again. What the hell? You ain't the only one that fell and won't ever be the only one. That's why you go to college, right? Because you're smart. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what to say about y'all. But it's a whole new occupation. The thing about this occupation, I'm going to tell you again. Whoa, look what came out again. This occupation is telling me about somebody sewing. You know now with the mask and all that. It's something going on that y'all need to do. I don't know what the... They, you two is you too, damn it. You two is showing you how to make masks. All kinds of masks. Make it. Put it out. Sell it. Do you know how many people are looking to buy masks? The world is. Stop playing. I don't even know what to say. You're coming into this. What does this say? Let me let me keep poking it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. You see that, right? All right. It says Sutton. They ain't saying when this is over. It's saying like, like, like right now. Get to doing it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh God, Pisces, look at this, the lovers, you playing, the lovers, whoa, 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 so I got two this man is holding into her every thighs, honey. Holding tight onto the thighs. And them two birds are over there like one is on the lap and one is over there, right? So this is saying to me that yes, you're coming into that and this person's coming. Um, I just got done telling you about um baby daddies and all that bullshit, right? This is coming. This person is on the lap. And the other one is there and they hugging. It's telling you what's coming. Whoa, flying out. Because um, let's let's get back to this little car right here. This is serious to me. This is coming, right? Check this out, Pisces. And I'm only going to pick this card up because you know I got to go back to telling the truth. A new, a death and a new beginning, right? Look at this. A coffin, right? A coffin to the past. A coffin to whatever it was that wasn't right for you in the past. Jobs, people, places, anything. You are bearing the past. You are coming into the future. So you can sit there and wait all you want and be stuck on what it is. Because Pisces, remember, when you stuck, you stuck those people around you that cannot help themselves because you are who they look up to, your kids. And if I got to invent that in your head, I'm going to. What you allow a man to do is what you allow your kids to become in the future. Do you understand? You teach them not to be loved. That's what they're going to get from people that don't love them and want to use them. Do you understand? If I got to invent this in your head, I will. All right? If you don't love yourself, you can't afford to have somebody love you because you don't love your damn self. If you don't respect yourself, you don't got people to respect you. You don't have nothing good coming in your life but a bunch of trash. Okay? So remember, what you choose in your life is what you choose for those kids that did not ask to be here. 
that you brought him here. Remember that. Okay? If I don't do nothing, I'll tell you the truth, whether you like it or not. And Pisces, if you feel like this house is getting too hot for you, then you know to go to the next reader that was going to tell you a lot of bullshit. Because I'm not bullshit with you. I'm keeping it 100% real. Okay? So you at Mama Lisa TT's house? So no way. I don't know what to tell you. Because guess what? At the end of this coffin, you got someone with a heart that's coming for you. Just reaching out for you. And maybe that person in that past was fucked up. And I don't know about it. But maybe that person is coming with something for you. But you better remember who you are today. How far you come. And don't ever let nobody take you down to where you don't see the light. Alright? New beginning, new start. Males coming to you. Whether it's your money, whether it's your past, whether it's your future. Something is coming to bring your attention. And it's a man. Because this man has got a man's hand right there. Don't have a bitch. There it is. You got that? He's coming. And because I'm nosy, I pull him a car because I need to know why he's coming. Yeah, I do. What you coming with? You want to talk? You got, got the phone there. Everything is in front of them. Hello, Pisces. The man that I'm waiting on. <laughs> the pinnacles. The daddy. The officer. The male. Oh, somebody big is coming your way. Hello. 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 Somebody with authority. That's what I'm talking about. Because see me, I'm with authority. So, I come with authority. I wear a crown. I got to bring out my crown so y'all know I got a crown. I don't play. And um, this is coming, okay? Somebody with authority, okay? So now, Pisces, I'm moving on to your love cards because you know you love your love card. Pisces, before I go anywhere further with these love cards, you need to know this reading is all about you, your new rebirth, where you're coming, and more than anything, how you need to know that what you bring out is what you show, what your surroundings. I don't give a damn. If you've been through it, you already know. You know the deal. And this is a brand new you, and this thing right here is coming to just, like, try to mess with your little head a little bit. But I don't see anything big in these cards because there ain't nothing showing that this is taking over the whole card reading. The whole card reading is about new you, New thing, people applauding you, and I'm one of those hands applauding you because I want nothing but the best for you, okay? You got everything new coming for you. So how you going to deal with it is what you're going to get, all right? Because you got two, two things, three different things telling you that you got. Look, a new, of the past is gone, a new rebirth, you got Pisces telling you, you got everything new coming to you. you. You coming to a whole new start, a whole new you, a whole new beginning. On top of that, you got this again telling you that it's an ending to all your bull crap that you've been going through. How bad do you want it? It's there. On top of that, you got this news that's coming to you in every which way. And you got Captain Baby that I'm waiting on. Hello. Coming to my door. Knock on my door anytime you want. Come with any kind of letter you want from me. I'm ready to receive it. Yes, come to it with roses, come to it. Please don't bring no thorns or roses. I cannot. Don't bring that kind because I don't want it. Okay. Mm -mm, I don't want nothing hurting my fingers. No, I'm dainty. I don't want nothing hurting me. Mm -mm, nothing, please. I can't. Okay, moving on, Pisces. I know. Mm -mm -mm. I could be something else. But it's the truth. Should you want something to cut you all up? Hell to the no. Uh-uh. Okay, let's go. Look. Okay. Okay. Codependence. Addicted to a different romance. Okay. Codependence. Addictions are affecting your romance. So what are you addicted to? Addicted to that thing that ain't good for you? Look at you. You're sitting there with some roses. 
You're like codependence on what? And you are what? Addiction or fat in your love life. Oh, 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 pie. oh, 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 Lord. Um, is this person drinking, smoking, partying? Is that the kind of person you got in your life? Because it's sure enough affecting your life, honey. Because this person probably got a whole lot of habits, sexual habits. Um, one, you know, a lot of people in your little square more than just you. Honey, it's affecting you because you sitting there like, what the hell? Because how about this, baby? Hold back, hold back, Pisces. You got your eyes on the prize, baby. You deserve love because you are lovable. And look at that. You shooting at a certain person that's coming in. But you don't know where that's coming or how far that arrow is going to go. But you know it's going somewhere. You got your eyes on the prize. How about this? Look at this. Yeah, baby, I'm. Whoa, 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 you coming for me, and I got you, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I got it in my head. I, I can describe it exactly how I want it to be. Yo, I got a picture. I done, I done drew him out. I done sketched him out. I ain't lying. Yes, honey. Yes. I don't want no. Um, you know how they got the like, the middleman that's like a little kid, and then they got the. The, I mean, the little kid is a kid at high school love, and then you got the middleman that's um, come with all the bullshit, like, um, you know, the pimp the pimp player that want to pimp everybody and want to act like he got it going on and got all them little games, the drinking, the getting high, the partying, the wanting you and everybody else. And then you got the captain, the one that's, you know, already with the wisdom and the knowledge. They don't want to play no more games. This is all about his own foundation and his own business. That's why I want the captain, because I'm a captain. And anybody know me know that I'm the captain. Okay? I don't play that. Retrieve. Take me on the retrieve, baby, in the day. Okay, yes. It's time to disconnect from the world, honey. Listen to me. You are disconnected. This is disconnected, ain't it? You are stuck in your house, so disconnect and go into you and that person and start sketching that person and start writing everything to God what you want in that person. And I guarantee you that God's going to give them right to you in your hand. Write it out and seal it. Write it just like you write it in, 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 in a book. Write it in your diary. Write it. Say, God, I want him to have this, that, 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 that. And I guarantee you're going to get it. You're going to get it. Because I know I wrote miles out. I already got a sketch of it. I'll tell you everything about it. And I don't even know him, but I know that he's coming. And I know when it comes, I'm leaving everything. It ain't even no good for nothing right where it's at. No good for nothing. Because I ain't got nothing but a bunch of scarves that reminds me of what it was. And I don't want no more scarves. I want to be happy. Reconsideration. Someone from your past is returning to your life in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I said no sorry. I told y'all no. I told you he called me this morning and want to FaceTime me and all that. I said no. I went on by my business. Yes, I did. So he can come on he want, but this, see, that's that's a sore. That's something that gave me a lot of sores, headaches, and and uh-uh. I sleepless nights and all that. I don't want that. True love. This romance is for a lifetime, baby, and I'm gonna keep showing it to you. That's my lifetime right there. It ain't my past. It's the future. All right, Pisces. I love y'all and I gotta go, Pisces, but I want y'all to all know. And don't forget that something going on with my phone. That my girlfriend said maybe she can work it out. Hey, she's so pretty. I got to show y'all. But first, I need to tell y'all this. Something's wrong with the phone. I can't get this phone to, you know, do the right thing. But I got this computer, so I don't know how good it's going to work. And I don't know if I can answer y'all back. But if I can't, I will. All right? Enjoy your uh, holiday, um, Easter. I hope that y'all have it all planned out because I didn't know it was Easter to yesterday. That's terrible, right? So that shows you how into I am with y'all that I'm disconnect from the world. That's crazy, ain't it? And I have no time for nobody. Anybody tell you, even my girlfriend tell you, she said, I'm all up in this YouTube that I don't even know nothing else. Ain't it good because it, it cleared my mind and it got the, the nonsense away from me because reading your cards is reading my own card. I know I had to get something right. Okay, I know I want better for me, right? So I want better for you. So know that I love y'all, love you, love you, love you, two pieces, two pieces. And I am so sorry 
it, all this confusion was going on in my house. But you in my house anyway, right? So you on Pisces, you do, right? And so um, you know how it is. Pisces Studio, you come in, we shut the door. So what? Anything can happen. Just because you ain't in here, all this chaos, it can be chaos in your house watching me. I don't know the dog, the cat, the F. All right? So know that I love you all. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Don't forget to wash your hands and don't touch, touch, touch. All right? Bye.